This will depend on your specific mill model. However, it's important to remember that none of our mills require any tools or taking out of screws when refilling. Make sure not to overfill the mill. We recommend filling it to around 85% as this will leave enough room for the condiment inside to be able to move around during the grinding process. For mills with a screw top, unscrew the knob and take this off. Then pull the cap off and pour in your condiments. For mills without a screw top but with a cap, simply pull off the cap and pour in your condiments. For electronic mills, twist the upper body to unlock and lift. Next, take out the battery compartment. Pour in your condiments and reinsert the battery compartment, aligning this properly with the base. And lastly, put the upper body back in its place, aligning the unlock icon on the upper body with the lock icon on the base before locking. For mills without a screw top or pop-off top, twist the body from the base to unscrew, ensuring the opening of the salt or pepper chamber is facing upwards to avoid spillage.